Hello Susanna and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having a good day so far. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Diana and I make videos all about my life as an expat in Germany. I live in Berlin. So if you are interested in learning about the German culture, moving here, learning how to find a job here, make sure to stick around. I do post new videos every single week. So hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. I hope you guys did it already. I'm waiting. Do it. Do it. All right. Now we can get started. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about some of the mistakes that I have made while living in Germany. And I ain't talking about life mistakes, you know, personal mistakes or anything like that, but just um, cultural mistakes. So when you move to Germany, there are so many things that you have to learn. You know, the way that people do things are different. Um, the way that things operate are different, so it does take some getting used to. So I wanted to share some of my mistakes with you guys in case you are planning to move here. You can learn from me so that when you come here, you're a pro at all of this and you know exactly what to do. So one of the first things I'm going to talk about is quite important, especially if you are going to come here and go out to drink or party, go to clubs, and it revolves around these little chips right here. Hopefully that focuses. These are fun chips or deposit chips that get handed over to you at the bar. So when you order a drink, you will most likely get one of these. And what this is, is actually a deposit chip that has a monetary value, usually one or two euros. And what you do with it is at the end of your drink or the end of the night, you bring over your empty glass and you hand this over to the bartender and they will give you your deposit back. So again, usually about a euro or you can use it to buy new drinks. It's actually a pretty cool system because it actually incentivizes you to bring your empty glasses back to the bar and not leave it all over the place. And I have made the mistake of walking away from the bar, going back home and having so many of these in my pocket because I just forget to return my glass. In Toronto, we don't have this system, so we just leave our glasses you know, on a table or at the bar but we don't get a deposit back so yeah it's quite annoying because when you come back home and you have like a bunch of these and you can't even get your money back it's irritating so don't make that mistake make sure that you do return your glass and that way you will get your money back and you won't have all of these useless chips lying around your house that you won't be able to claim. So yeah, that is the first mistake. All right, the second mistake is something that, that I still make to this day, even though I've been living here for almost three years, and it is messing up the order of how I write the date. And this gets me every single time. I've had to redo multiple forms in the past because I can't seem to get the German order right. And I think it's not just the German order, I think it's a European thing as well. But the way that it works in Germany is you write the day first, then you write the month, and then you write the year, which is opposite of North America. So in North America, you write out the month, then the date, and then the year. So it does get a bit confusing when you are filling out forms like at the government offices or even at the doctors. I do have to stop myself and think what the order is and then do it because it's just not in my mind. It's not naturally ingrained in my mind to write it out in the German order. So yeah, I've made that mistake quite a lot and I know it is a very common mistake that expats make, especially if they are coming from Canada and the US because we do invert the dates. I did just want to point this out because, you know, if you have doctor's appointments or government appointments, you don't want to miss out on them just because you're not used to the way that the date is written out. So yeah, that would be the second thing. And the third thing that I do, and I think I will still continue to do, is smiling at strangers. And this is not common at all in Germany. You may greet a neighbor when you see them, you may say, you know, guten tag or hello, but you will usually not smile at them. Or if you see a stranger walking down the street, you pass them by, you don't smile at them either. And this is total opposite of Canada. Everyone there just smiles and that's just a way of acknowledging people. We don't necessarily, 
you know, say good morning or good day if we don't know them, but we will usually smile at a stranger. And that's just the way we do things there. And I know that's completely different here. And I know it makes Germans uncomfortable because I see their reaction. They're like, why is this girl so happy? And why is she smiling at me? But I can't help it. It's just my nature. And I have a theory that it probably brightens their day a little bit. <laughs> Germans, if you guys are watching, let me know if that's the case or if you just find it totally creepy. And if you do, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue to creep all of you guys out. So that's that. <laughs> the fourth thing that I do is ordering drinks that don't actually exist in Germany, but they exist back home. And it's quite funny to see the reaction when I make this mistake. People think I'm super weird. So for example, uh, one of the first times I went clubbing in Berlin, um, I went to the bar and I was with a friend and my friend was like, what do you want to order? Because he was going to ask for me. And I said, I want a cranberry vodka, which is a very, very common drink uh, back home. Everyone gets it. You either have like cranberry, cranberry vodka or um, an orange vodka a screwdriver, but that's not common here at all. So he was like, are you sure that you want that? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, and then he asked the bartender and he was like, what the fuck? Like, we don't have that. And my friend was like, I know, but that's what she wants. So I ended up with like a really random drink. I don't know what kind of fruit juice it was. Definitely wasn't cranberry. I drank it anyways, but it was just funny to see two Germans very, very confused by the drink that I wanted. And I didn't realize until afterwards that it was a very weird order because that just doesn't exist here. But to me, I find it really amusing just to see how confused people get by my orders. Let me know if you are an expat living in Germany, if you have had this experience or if you order food or drinks that don't exist here at all. Let me know down below. That's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about today. The four mistakes that I've made since moving here. Of course, there's like so many other ones like forgetting to carry cash around with you. I think those ones are like quite obvious mistakes, but I wanted to talk about some lesser known mistakes that I have made um, just to help you guys out. Again, if you are planning to move here or if you just wanna laugh at me because these mistakes might seem super obvious to you. Uh, but I hope that you guys do enjoy this and if you are interested in moving to Germany, finding a job in Germany, make sure to check out my ebook. I did create a full guide uh, for all of you interested with step by step on how you can actually move here and work here. So I will leave the link down below to my ebook in the description bar. But that's going to be all. I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you all next week. Cheers! Mm -hmm.